Hi, I'm George, and I'll be showing you how to change the color of these buttons in here, including the color of the buttons further down. I'm going to show you that real fast, and I have my sample right there. Choose Done, and there we go. There's that new color. As you can see all the rollovers work, everything else, even all the buttons inside work just fine. So go ahead, and I'll show you how that's done. And before we do that, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you won't miss out on any future Minecraft videos. Okay, you need to first switch over to the desktop and make a new folder to work inside of. Let's go ahead and do that right now. I'm just going to close this window down. And I'm in the folder here on my C drive. I just called it title, just so that I have something in here to work inside of. Now we need to get the current resource pack, so I'll bring up the Minecraft launcher. There we go. Go into installations. Right now I'm in 117.1 right here. So I go over here and right where that folder icon is, click on that. That opens up the Minecraft folder in here. And you want to come down here where it says versions. Go inside of versions and then find your version. Right now, again, I'm in 117.1 right there. Let's bring up our other folder here. Back over to this one. I'm just going to go inside of here and you want the .jar file right there. Now, if you don't see the .jar, this is very important. Go up to view. Go over here where it says file name extensions. Put a check right there so you see that. Okay, back to the home page here. And then right drag it over here and just copy that into your working folder. Okay, that's taken care of. We can get that out of the way. Now in here, again, make sure you see that dot jar and then just type over that and make it say zip. Just like that. Say yes. Okay, there we go. We can now right click on this and open in new window. Here we go. A couple of things we need in here. First off, if we scroll way down here, there's a file down here and it's right there. Pack PNG. Just right drag it over here and copy. That's just the icon that shows up inside of the resource pack list. If you want to, you can change this to something else. It's just a square image. The default is 128 by 128. You can go larger if you want to, like 256 by 256. I'll just leave that at the default. Now we also need a pack.mc meta file. You can go and find that if you have an earlier version of Minecraft, you can go and find that. Just find the jar file for the earlier version. You find it right next to the pack PNG. For whatever reason, Minecraft 117.1 does not include that. So make this easy. I just put that on my website. You can download that from my website. Let me show you that right now. There we go. I'll put this link in the description. So you can just click on that and get the download. And that's right here. It says 117 pack MC MIDI. You want to download that. Just click on that and then download that into the same location as that zip file we just did. That's my working folder. I'll choose save. There you go. That's done. Let's close that down. And we're done with this and get that out of the way. And then unzip this, right click and extract all. Choose extract. There we go. And you want that file right there. Just drag that over here. You can then close this thing down and you can get rid of that zip file. We don't need that any longer. The delete key and that's gone. And we don't need this anymore either. Hit the delete key and that's gone. So there we go. Here's our pack MC meta. Now if you open this thing up, you can see that's set for a pack format seven right there. That's the important part. If you are using an older version of Pack MC Meta, make sure you change that to 7. We'll talk about that in just a bit here. But first, we need to set up our folder structure now for this, and we need to get the image file for changing those buttons. And that's back here to our 117 zip. Right click, open it in new window. Go into Assets, go into Minecraft, come down here, go into Textures, and then into GUI right here. And then we want the file here is called widgets. I want that one right there. I'm just going to put this to the side just for a second like that. Right there is good. We also need to make this folder structure up here. So let's go back here to this folder. Make sure you can see that up there. And let's just match that in here. So a new folder. This one's assets. And inside of here, new folder, Minecraft. There we go. Inside of that, new folder, textures. There it is. Inside of that. New folder GUI. There you go. Inside of that, that's where we need to put this widgets PNG. I'm just going to right drag over here and copy. There it is. That's the one that we need. Okay, let's get this out of the way. So that's all set to go. We're going to edit this inside of paint.net, which is a free program. If you don't have this, it's an easy download. You can use anything you want, though. Anything that will do some basic color changes is fine. We'll just use paint.net. So we'll bring up paint.net and let's go ahead and get this editing part out of the way. Okay, here's paint.net, and the easy way to get a file inside of here is just take your file folder. There's our widget's PNG, and just drag it over here like that, and choose open image. There we are. Okay, let's just zoom in on this thing. The zoom control, bottom right-hand corner, I'll just zoom in like that. Now, what we care about are these middle three sections right in there. To make this real easy, I'm just going to make a new layer above this layer. New layer right here. 
and let's make a selection in here. Grab that, that's a selection. And I'm gonna make a selection just like this, just right around those three buttons. That's good. Make sure you're still on your new layer up here. And then on your color chooser, color picker, go over here and find a nice color. I'm gonna choose just kind of a nice blue right there. And then grab the paint bucket and click inside. That fills that whole selection with that new paint color. Now we're going to blend this in with the image underneath. So first go up here to edit and deselect, or use the control D key. Go back up to your move tool right here. Double click on the layer two menu over here. And you have blend mode. And then here come down to overlay, just like that. And that puts the blue into those buttons for you. And then choose okay. All right, that's now done. Let's go ahead and save this. I'm gonna save this twice once as a paint.net file. So I can come back and change the color if I want to real easy. So do that first, file and save. It should go into your same folder. There it is. And it should come in as a paint.net file right there, a PDN file. Choose save, that's done. Let's now save this out as that PNG file. File, save as. And on the list, you just want PNG. That's right there, that's when we're overwriting. Choose save, choose yes, click OK again, and click on flatten, and that's now done, that's taken care of, and we finished our color change. Okay, that's all done, let's get that out of the way. And here we are back here again. Now, we need to make this into a resource pack. It's pretty easy to do, just back up here to our working folder, and let's first edit the pack MC Meta. Now I have this thing opening up in Notepad++, that's also a free download. I'll put a link for that in the description. This is a very good program for doing this kind of editing. Now pack format has to be seven if you're working in 117.1. And you can change your description right here. Just change what's inside the quotes. I'll call this one new buttons and save. There we go, that's done. Let's now take this file, hold the control key down, grab that and that, those three right here. Go up to share, click on zip and I'll call this one new buttons again. There it is. That's all set to go. We can now put this inside the game. So we're still right here. Here's the installations page. Go over here, click on that folder right there. Brings back up the Minecraft folder. I'm gonna resource packs in here. And then just drag this file right up there like that. There it is. Okay, it's now inside the game. You can close this down, close that down, and then click on play to start the game. As soon as the game loads, we'll then load up that resource pack. Go ahead and we'll do that. Click on play. And here we are. Go into options, go into resource packs. Find your new resource pack, here it is, new buttons. Click on that, make sure you see it over here on the right hand side, choose done. And this should then change the colors over. There we go, there's our nice blue buttons. Let's double check this, video settings, everything else looks good, done. Click on done again, and there we go. We've now changed the color of our buttons in here, making a real nice looking menu screen. If you wanna see how I made this solid background, I'll put a link for that video in the description as well, and also how I recolored the Minecraft title I'll put a link for that video also inside of the description. Now don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Check out my channel for a bunch more Minecraft videos, and I'll see you next time.